Hi, it's Gabby Schmidt and my homemade squishies. Not only will I be showing you my homemade ones, but I'll be telling you how to make them as well. Now to make them, well, it's working in the machine. So the first one I made was this one. And it's really squishy. It's just made out of sponge. It's not meant to be anything, it's just meant to be squishy with a little face. The next one I made is, well, the second one I made was this one, this chocolate bar, and it's got spikes, and that's really squishy. The next one I made was this cute face, and it's that squishy. Um, there's this. I don't know if you can see. Then I can see the spiky. It's going to be a spiky squishy. And that's out. And then you can just squeeze. Ready? Um, and the last one I made was this sandwich. Now I try to do the a face but it wasn't horrible. And that is really squishy. So next the squishy. Use some sponges. And if you want your squishy to be in a nice colour, um, you need some colour paint. I'm just going to get mine out. Now I'm using fabric paint because I don't have any other paint. And you can use fabric paint. That's so it's but it just... Put this navy blue into um, glitter pink, gold and black. Well, this is more of the type Normal black, this colour. Oh, sorry, yeah, this is this glitter pink here. This colour. You can get these in America or on the internet and they are called tulip paint. Tulip fabric paint, just check that in. And here is sponge. You can do it in here, just to cut a little slit. Let's try. And let's try and put your scissors inside that hole you need. Then it should give you this. That will help you to peel it off without any green stuff left over. With my other sponge, if you didn't get what I just said, then yeah, you can take it off. And 
can I cut it in half, depending if you want a big squishy or small squishy. And then, to make this squishy, I have to cut half of it again. That's it. Then turn it over on the smooth side, not on this side. This is side where it's been ripped off. This side is not ripped off. Okay, so it's all nice size. You get some light like, shape. No, what I did is like I got multicolored paint and I put it all over. Just do that. So it kind of spread it uh, about half and a bit more. I'm using my red. But you can make it multicolored, like I did, but in the shade I first You can see my little tree. The back I don't do because it will be a dry. You can do that once you dry your hair. Once you've done that, you do your multi colours. Now I'm not doing those colours on this one. And then, do your optional face. Now, if you go on YouTube and just type in squishies and find many optional faces. You do your face you want. If you like my face, this is what it looks like. Like that. Now, I'll show you what the paper is doing. You know, when you put it, you make the paper. Every year in fabric paint, you can make, like, put a lot on because then it becomes hard and nice. And then, for the mouth, this is what the mouth looks like. You can do that. That's the... Uh, and leave that to dry. So now I showed you how to make this squishy. Now I'll be showing you how to make the chocolate bar. To make the chocolate bar, you need to get the other half and cut that like so make it skinny. Cut. Just it off like that. And then what I did all I did was I just turned it. You see it's flat, like normal. Turn it on the side here like this, and then I cut it off a bit. When you've done your squishy, do you like, you see some of the paint for a zigzag? So do the colour of the wrapper you want. Now I'm gonna turn. Where's my chocolate? Sorry, I can't buy my actual chocolate. Oh. Now for my one, I did black. It was even pretty possible. Did you like a zigzag? You see you like that? Zigzag. And then, if you can, Carry it on the other side. Make sure none of the bits underneath. And then with that same colour, if you had brown and blue stuff, but with that same colour, you will like, see here, put your straight line.
you can try. You might just trim it. When you're done, get the paint and like draw two circles. Draw two circles. With the same colour, draw your mark. Then you draw your circles, draw two little circles in each one. Can you see? I've drawn two circles. And I colour, colour the outside of that tiny circle. Then in a tiny circle, obviously you're going to get a hole. So with that hole, you squirt another colour. And you squirt your hole. So, <coughs> squirt this side. I need to use another colour paint for the cheek. A little cutie cheek. There we are. That's how to make the squishy new one and old one. So now I'm going to be showing you how to make my sandwich squishy. So all you need is two colours. Using the rest. And you know the top of the sponge, take that that we just ripped off and take another colour sponge for the cheese. You need to make a choice of what the the um the top is going to be. So I chose them to have this as my top. So what you do is you cut that in half the other way around. And then you cut the shape of your butt of uh, the pretty one. So I'm gonna cut like a square. So now you've got your two sandwich thing. The top. The bread. And I put that to the side.
And then, here are the pink ones. Oh, why they're coming out. Put that one just a bit bigger. A different like shape. You see it's cutting into the weird shape. Don't cut it with the same as the bread. Can you see how that is different shape? So now you've got your burger meat. Then cut your lettuce. There you are. Now you can put your whole burger together. Meat. Now make sure the meat is smaller than the lettuce. Look at that meat. That. Here for the Looks good. And you can if you can have like sauce, so like tomato, which can also help to glue your thing Now I'm not going to have tomato in my mustard. So I can only stuff in my throat so I can mix it with. So pour your mustard all over, like sprinkle it all over. And put some glue on top if you think it's necessary. Put your lettuce in. Then you want your pepper and ketchup as well for like two different sauces. You only need a drop of glue. That is if you put it on the side. Put your lettuce on top. Oops, oops, oops. Put your meat on top. Pour some light mustard on it. And stick your sandwich on. You squeeze it. If you can just sit on it, just squeeze it. Now you see on my sandwich, I've got all this, my like all this red stuff on there. All I did is I just got the thing and I poured it into it like thinking that personal dropped just like around it put some things like a um, book or something to oh no it's a Thanks for watching on how to make all of my homemade squishies and watch my other videos and I'll have another video showing you 
must wish you to be enjoyed. So thanks. Bye. Oh,